Hi, I'm Annika Johnsons from Al Johnsons in Sister Bay. I hope you enjoy my new video series called Door County Girl. These are stories of my life, the people and places that I love, and of course, how we all survive here in Northern Wisconsin. You can come back as often as you like, but don't forget to subscribe to Al's YouTube channel. I'll be posting lots of really cool new videos. So let's go. Welcome to another episode of Door County Girl. Today we are going to do something super fun. I'm super excited about this. It brings me back to my childhood days. We're going to do some kick sledding with Alicia and Frankie Pudlow. And hey, say hello, guys. Hello. <laughs> hello. And I'm going to kind of let them take it away because I'm I'm going to act like I'm learning how to do this because this is I'm debating whether I want to get one or not for myself. I live out in the country. I access to lots of trails and snowy roads and um, I was tootling around the yard on them and I actually love them so I'm gonna let them talk about it a little bit so why don't you guys say how you got started where you're from all this good stuff and sure. yeah so, uh, first of all they're a lot of fun and uh, we're from Door County we uh, born and raised here we found out about them about six years ago from a family friend and the first time we tried them out uh, we were a little skeptical you know young people trying out a new thing but we absolutely loved them and they were super fast, faster than any cross country skiing we had done. And the first time we used them, everyone stopped us and asked us, you know, what is that? That looks so cool. Where can I get one of those? And so after one year, we thought, why don't we bring this to Door County? It would be such a good thing for the area and such a, so many good places to take them and use them. So yeah. And it works for everyone, we say, eight years old up to six feet tall for this model but we have smaller models and taller models for three-year-olds up to 90 year olds it works for stability in the winter to go walking um, ice fishing running in the winter taking it just for a kick sled ride you have a chair right there you can sit and take a break so there's lots and lots of different uses yeah you could even put something on there like if you have to run to the bank or the post office where when i was little i saw all the old people on them mm -hmm. and they lived in the village actually so not many people had a car so you'd hop on their kick sled and they would just go to the post office and they go get some bread and milk and eggs at the store and all the old people had these yeah. so i'm kind of assuming that if elderly folks can do this we we sort of younger people should be able to do this. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and we get them imported from Finland. And like she said, everywhere at Finland, Sweden, they take them. They don't salt their roads, so they can take them anywhere. So we're slowly getting there here in Door County. Yes, what do they call them in Finland? A spark. A, see, in Sweden, too, they call it a spark. Yep. Yeah, a spark. Yes, they're super new to the whole country, actually. We're one of four importers in the whole U.S. to sell kick sleds. Awesome. So. Well, you know, here's the deal. Uh, they come in, I see you have long runners yes. and you have the shorter runners. There's not a big difference in like when you're kicking around on them, I noticed, but there's <laughs> like we're talking about a car or something. There's a little more leg room in this one. Look at this. It's got like some leg room. You can be a little rider on the kick sled or there's a little bit shorter of a stance there. So if the kids are a little smaller or whatever, <laughs> so I don't think it makes a difference too much. Not just too what much. your preference is, right? Yes. These ones are a lot easier to throw in your car. So if you have a bigger vehicle, like a truck or like a van, you can slide this in, maybe fold down a seat or two. Yeah. Whereas, could you maybe show them how you fold it? Absolutely. So Cause you can put this right in your car. Two little screws in the back here. Just unscrew those. Fold the seat up a little bit, just like that, and just like that you could throw it across your back seats, which is yeah. nice about the compact one. Yeah, just think if you got stuck in the ditch somewhere, you could hop on your kick sled, just throw it in there, like I'm just going to go back to town and get some help on my kick sled. That's what I would do. Well, I'm super excited about this. Now what are they made out of? It's made out of birch wood and then stainless steel for the runner on the bottom, and then uh, the black runner that's attached to the steel runner is uh, a plastic snow runner, it's called, and it just helps you glide across the snow. But uh, when you're on an icy lake or a pond, uh, just the metal runner will help you glide so much faster, and that's when it's the most fun. Okay, so what happens if you want to take those plastic things off? Are they easy to come off and put on, back on again, too? Yeah, uh, you can do it all by hand or uh, with a rubber mallet. That helps. Okay. And there's zip ties in the front that hold it in place so that it doesn't slide forward and back. So you just put a new zip tie on and push it on with your hand 
or a rubber mallet, like you said, and you're good to go. That's so awesome. I love these. I've always wanted, we had one when we were really little. My dad brought one back from Sweden, but it was not like these. I mean, mm -hmm. they weren't very fancy and we of course killed it. <laughs> so, well, I think we should try it. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. Sounds I'm so good. excited. I'll get this one set up. I noticed that when I was just tootling around on it, um, it's almost like you were on a skateboard a little bit. Like you have to figure out which foot is your uh, push foot yeah. and which one you would like to ride on the most. And I noticed that when I learned how to snowboard, I kept trying to learn with my right foot forward and I realized I couldn't do it that way. So I, uh, someone suggested just switching around to the other foot and then I noticed that it was a little bit better for me. Mm -hmm. So I do notice that trying it with both feet, you have like a more of a predominant one than you have, yes. you know. Definitely. Yeah. You guys want to show them how to do it? Sure. So it's like a snow scooter and the fact that you just stand on the foot pads in the back here and you just kick off and glide. And take it downhill. <laughs> Yeah, and it, you know what I've noticed? That you, he, they kind of showed me that you can either push with your foot when you want to steer it on one blade, or actually it's very flexible, so you can actually turn it with the handles. So when she was going down, you could see how she was turning a little bit, which I thought was kind of cool. So if you're headed for the tree, she knew she could just zip away from the tree. And with the runners being, they're like a sprit, like the spring steel, so they're very, very flexible when you're pushing out on them. So you can kind of use those to steer as well. Yeah, that's awesome. I love them. I'm actually trying to get one. I want to get one of these for myself for Christmas. <laughs> there you go. Forget everybody else. I'm going to get a kick sled for myself. And they come in different colors, right? Yes. So if I don't like red. Yep, we have red, black, blue, and then just a natural wood birch color. Yep, that's what I was leaning for, is a birch colored one. Just so bring me back to my childhood days. Everybody's got those wooden ones. All right, so here we go. Let's try it, and I'm gonna try and kick sled this over to this. So the sleds are very efficient. They're made out of birch wood. Weigh about 20 pounds. Very easy to pick up and throw in your car. You can also use it to, as a running aid in the winter if you want to jog behind it. I love that. It's so lightweight. You can run with it. You can walk with it. You can pick it up. It doesn't weigh anything. Anyone who says that they can't do it are crazy. Yes. They're just crazy. And my favorite part, if you ever need a break, you just take a seat. Ah. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> I'm so tired, I need a little push. Somebody give me a push. Have a little picnic. How often do you hear kids say, I'm tired. <laughs> I can't, two feet down the road. These are awesome. Yes, one push gets you pretty far on these. Woo, I'm going rogue. <laughs> I can't believe this is the perfect snow for this right now. It's like that corn snow. Yes. And I know you guys said something about if it's icy, it's better because it just kind of glides on it. Yes, the nice thing about these is you can use them almost all winter long. As you can see, it doesn't take perfect conditions, just even, what, a couple inches of snow and some ice and you're good to go. Yes, this is a great place for them. Super icy. Can, this faster it goes on this crunchy snow. I love it.
and you want to make a sharp turn, it's really nice because you can just pick them up and turn them 90 degrees. Ha, I won. <laughs> this way. Exercise, everyone. Good fresh air. Let's pick it up and turn around. That's unlike skis, turning around is easy on <laughs> a kickstart. Let's go. A slow poke. Should have brought the yak tracks. I'm a slow poke. I gotta catch up. And when you have tracks to go over, it's a lot easier too. So awesome. I love them. I could do this all afternoon. Okay, so uh, if I was someone that says, hey, I want one, how much are they? So the compact one is $325, and our standard model is $335. So only a $10 difference. Um, and if you are a tall person and you don't think this is the right height, you can ask for a taller, probably. So if you're over like six foot three inches or taller than that. Um, we have one that's two, uh, two and a half inches taller. So that's for the taller people. Okay. Um, we also have some little kid ones that are shorter for- Oh yeah. That'd be awesome too, little kids. Uh, also, uh, what else was I gonna ask you? If you wanted to get a kick sled and you didn't live in Door County, how do you work that? Like, I mean, do you ship or do you just like have us meet you somewhere or how does that work? We ship the compact models, so the shorter skis we can ship all across the U.S. Otherwise, we can do delivery for the longer ones across Wisconsin. Okay. So sometimes if you know someone who's coming to Door County, you can always mm -hmm. say, hey, look, I ordered a kick sled. Could you go swing by Sturgeon Bay? And stop at Alicia and Frankie's house and uh, kick me eyes up. Yep. Yeah, these are so awesome. I've noticed too that when we're going along, there's so many different ways to do it. I've noticed that when we're going like this, you do a lot of this. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm doing some push-ups, people. Mm -hmm. I'm like getting my upper body, my lower body, and you're getting your lungs going. So this yeah. is a great way to do this. I love it. Well, um, anything else anyone needs to know about these? That you think that is a... It's fun for the all, all winter long. Mm -hmm. um, and how do they get a hold of you if they want one? That's the big thing. Yes. We have social media, Facebook and Instagram. We're both um, Door County Kicksled and we have a website, DoorCountyKicksled.com. Our phone number and email's on there, so you can reach us anywhere. You can check out all the models on our website and you can order right from there too, so. Yeah, I told them that they should get this thing going on their Facebook page where they say, how do you kick sled? Yes. And then you guys can all send your little videos on how you get to use your kick sled. Yes. And your favorite places to go and yes, how please. you use them. 
Yeah, like my son, if he was around, he'd be going off jumps and picnic tables with him. <laughs> so for sure, he, they little kids would be a little rogue. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, I love these. I'm going to get myself one. I think everybody should at least try one. If they come to Door County and they just want to try one, how do they do that? So um, you can meet us at our shed in, Dor in Sturgeon Bay uh, by appointment. Also, Crossroads at Big Creek in Sturgeon Bay has two kick sleds that you can use on their free ski for free days. And they have a bunch of nice trails there, which are perfect for kick sleds. Cool. Do you guys ever think about renting them? Like, you know, for the day or see if anybody wants to come and rent them out? <laughs> Like they do cross-country ski rentals and tubes. It has been a thought. Yes. Yeah. We are contemplating that. Good so. thoughts. Yeah. yeah. Good thoughts. But we, we should have our own, too. Yeah. <laughs> when we have our friends come, we bring our own, and then we say you have to rent one from Alicia and Frankie, though, because yeah. we like to promote their business. Anyway, I'm so happy that you guys got to come out and do this. This is a fun yeah. episode. My brother Rolf's going to say, how come you get to do all the fun stuff and I just get to cook? Well, I'll invite him along next time we do something fun like skydiving or something. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. yeah, yeah. Well, thanks for joining us for another episode of Door County Girl, everyone. And thanks to Frankie and Alicia for showing us their awesome kick sleds that anyone can do at any age. So until next time, we'll see you again. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll send you lots of other uh, goody videos in the mail. All right, let's get out Shall of here. We? <laughs> yeah, I'm following you guys. I'm a little right. slow, so I like to stick to the back. Let's go. Us oldies have to stay behind in case you young people get wounded. I can scoop you up with my kick sled. Thanks for watching Door County Girl. Don't forget to subscribe and we will see you next time.